Some of my colleagues have referenced this, but despite the gains that were made under the Affordable Care Act, which the majority of us, more than the majority of us, strongly supported and still strongly support, almost 3 million California residents still are without health insurance and don't have meaningful access to health and care. UC Berkeley recently re released a report that shows in my district alone, there are nearly 160,000 uninsured people. So we also know that funding under the Trump administration is for Medi-Cal and Medicare are currently at risk. So number one, we know that the Affordable Care Act itself is completely at risk. So we may lose all the gains that we got. And for our seniors and our low-income people that have Medi-Cal and Medicare, that may be at risk. So we as Californians may have to completely overhaul our healthcare system. And we're going to have to see that unfold. And this is partly why I stand up and support this bill today. Not only do I feel that a single-payer system would be the most efficient way to deliver our health care system, it may be a necessity because we may be faced with a circumstance where the health care system as we know it is decimated by actions from D.C. And we can't wait till all of that happens and then try to figure out a response. We need to be preparing now. And this bill helps us do that. It is not in its final form. It is not perfect. There is a cost estimate, as you've heard referenced, of $400 billion. There are other cost estimates that make it lower. I would hope and I trust that our authors will work very hard as this bill moves to bring down that cost, to put cost containments in there, and perhaps even to look at some of the services that are listed that to be covered that while, while maybe very nice, maybe they aren't essential. And so maybe that's another way to bring down that cost. I also feel confident that our authors will be working very hard to make sure that there's ways to streamline the delivery of the services, not only to bring down costs, but to make sure that people don't have to wait and they have good access and that it doesn't result in the kinds of things that some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have, have uh, raised as fears. And that then anyone who needs, for example, a heart replacement can get one in California. That's part of the objective here. This bill is a first step. We know that the money for health care, even $400 billion already, is being spent in California today. It's just being spent, in some respects, very inefficiently and certainly inequitably because it is not benefiting everyone. And the objective to health care reform is to reduce that cost, but also make sure that cost is spent efficiently and equitably. It's, the bill is not perfect in that regard yet. And I, am, I know that as we move it forward, and that's the circumstance that, that's our legislative process, is to move things forward. We don't lose all control of the bill by moving it to another house. Our authors still are the ones who will be both working on amendments and taking amendments. We can all be part of that deliberative process. If we do our job right and further refine the terms of this legislation with cost containment, with efficiencies, and with ensuring that every California gets the health care we need, and if we also refine it as we see what happens in Washington, we will have been doing a great thing for the residents of California and the state of California. And we also know that ultimately, this will have to be something that goes on the ballot because of issues like the GAN limit. And so it is incumbent on us to do that job very well. So it is a product that our voters will be willing to support. If we don't do the job well, then our voters won't be willing to support it.
But that's the process we're undertaking now. And yes, it's not fully cooked at this moment, which is why it's not a, something that we are voting to put on the ballot right now. But we are working on it, we are moving it forward, and I urge an I vote.